Welcome to a brand new episode of Sequel Rights, the podcast where we take a look at the franchises that make you go, they made how many of those? And we give each and every sequel a fair trial. <laughs> My name is Justin Camps, and I'm here with Elizabeth Helley and Tyler Hymanson. I'm a podcast host. You're a podcast host. You podcast. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We're, we're here talking about a movie where everyone announces who they are and what they do several times That's throughout right. the movie. That's right. And I've got receipts, but we'll save that for later. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, thank you guys for joining us this week as we uh, continue to work our way towards Transformers Rise of the Beasts uh, in just a couple weeks here. Um, but first, we need to talk about Michael Bay's fourth Transformers film, Transformers Age of Extinction. Oh, you guys, I know everyone's excited for this <laughs> one. Another, uh, another Michael Bay movie. But before we get too far into it, uh, Elus, where can people reach out? Uh, you can email us at sequelrights at gmail.com or reach out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Sequel Rights. And as a gift to our listeners, if you rate and review us wherever you're listening or follow us on Spotify, we will cover this movie at a third of the length. You will get all of the Transformers <laughs> Age of Extinction news and plot that you need. I almost guarantee we have thought about more thought about the plot more than the makers of this movie. Oh! Uh, and we will do so in an hour or so, which is about a third of this movie's runtime. That's, We're really saving lives here. That's true. Say, yes, it's true. true. And before we even get into it, too, I got to say... Uh, what the hell, Optimus? What the hell? You're not gonna have, you're not gonna give me an opening speech to work with <laughs> in this movie? Come on, I don't know what I'm gonna do this week. Maybe there won't maybe there won't even be an Optimus AI Optimus joke this week. I don't know. Okay, but anyways, let's get into it. Transformers: Age of Extinction. Bring it up. All the way. Dad, we can't keep spending money on junk. I can break it down, strip it for parts. This stuff is what's going to put you through college. There's something in here needs to make this family some money. Come on, you old wreck. Judgment day. What the hell happened to you? Look, this is not normal steel. I don't think it's a truck at all. I think we just found a transformer. Dad! I'm gonna ask you this once. Where is Optimus Prime? You know, we got a rule about messing with people from Texas. All right. I would like to very kindly... Welcome, everyone, to Texas, USA. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to America, the movie. <laughs> That's right. They, uh, they've they decided that this movie about children's toys, it's, we need to get away from the child angle and Shia LaBeouf entirely, and what people want is Marky Mark. After the success of Pain and Gain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's right. So like, uh, you know, you might be looking at the cast list of this movie and thinking, is this a full on, uh, reboot or, you know, what's going on here? No, it's a, it's actually like a, basically a direct sequel to yeah. the last yeah. one. And thankfully so, because I was getting so sick of them being like, oh, no, 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 nothing happened. People don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Transformers. No one knows about it. Yeah, totally. And now it's like, remember Chicago. Yeah. Please, please remember Chicago. My <laughs> sister died there, so you ain't going to get no love from me. Yeah, I apparently 1,500 people died at the round. Which the seems day. low. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the way they were getting vaporized, you'd think yeah. it'd be like, right, right, right. half the city does. Yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, I joked about this, but we get this wordless intro where some rude aliens come to space, I mean, come from space to Earth and kill all the dinosaurs, apparently. That's right. <laughs> um, and it's totally wordless. It's a little bit awkward. Mm -hmm. um, you know, apparently this is the new way that the dinosaurs died in real life. That's right. <laughs> Although, if it's the way that the dinosaurs died, we then find out that it has the devastation of, like, 
to wipe out a city, not like a planet wide extinction event event. Yeah. It's a little bit confusing. Well, it like uh it's because they dropped like a bunch of those seeds as, sure. as they're called uh in a row or whatever. And uh it doesn't just kill them, it turns them into metal or whatever. Transformium. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The same family as unobtainium, unobtainium yeah. yep. uh, adamantium, and uh, the one from Wakanda. Who would have known? Me right now. That was uh, I. D- I did Bye-bye enjoy. Brainium. Thank you, God. I did enjoy that they call it transformium and then immediately make a joke that it's like a market tested word. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is yeah. which is like okay. I, I guess you're smart enough to know it's stupid, but you're still. Calling saying it, it, calling it the stupid name. But you're yeah. still having your character say it often. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> But but yeah, yeah, there's a rural Texas road with the billboard about remembering Chicago and yep. a big old phone number yeah. to call. It's got a phone number and it's not one of those like five, five, five that clearly fake. So I was sure. like, I'm going to, I'm going to call this number. And I called it earlier today. First time I called it, nothing happened. I was like, hello, hello. Nothing happened. I hung up and redialed because why not? Sure. Um, and the second time it went to some recorded thing that was just like, it was not Transformers related. It was like, your credit can be increased by blah, blah, blah. You know, Whoa. it was like some fake thing that clearly was like. And now your identity is, is gone. gone. Yeah. I, know, I hung up right away. I was like, I probably shouldn't have called this. <laughs> and now Frazier's hunting you down. Frazier. <laughs> Frazier versus robots. Oh, my God. I mean, he hates. Frazier hates the bots. Yeah, Frazier hates the bots. Yeah. They got into his tossed salad and scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so our new cast, our new lead cast member, Mark Wahlberg, dad of the the year, dad of the year. I feel like uh, you know he he plays a dad in this, and some of the best parts of his performance are when he's like being an angry dad. What? <laughs> yeah. What are you saying? Like like when he's what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when, when he's yelling at the kid, the, yeah. the the boyfriend. No, that's stupid. <laughs> Those were the only good parts. It's, it's incredibly stupid. His and, name is Kate Yeager. And it's idea. There's, there's a part of You didn't this... like when he was like, I thought it was funny when he when his daughter was like, yeah, he's from Texas to this guy who clearly has an accent. And he's like, where? Dublin, Texas? Shamrock, <laughs> Texas? Aren't those real cities in Texas? Yes. I know, okay, but it's so still then, funny. Why is it funny? Because it's actual accent. cities in Texas. Because it's funny. Okay. If, it's funny. I'm not you're... saying it's like, oh, this is the fucking funniest movie I've ever seen, but in a <laughs> yeah. shitty movie. Yeah. No, At I thought he was like was a hideously offensive, like the worst father I've ever seen. Like I wanted to puke every time he talked about being what? this girl's dad. Like <laughs> okay. it was disgusting. Like I guess if you take <laughs> his dialogue with his daughter's boyfriend dialogue and you put it as Michael Bay's internal dialogue of how he wants to capture this woman on screen, it's horrible. Then it becomes actually a documentary. <laughs> it's like. He has unresolved issues about wanting to have sex with his own daughter. Like that is what causes this kind of creepy dad. Like really thing. Yeah. You when you Mark sexualize Wahlberg? your own daughter, that's why you get so creep. But that's why you get so um, like, you can't talk to any boys. Like you can't ever do anything. Like I'm going to, you have to put on longer shorts. Like that's what all of that leads to. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't get the vibe that he wanted to fuck his daughter, but okay. <laughs> I, I, don't know. I mean, it's, maybe Michael Bay wants to. Yeah, fuck I'm not saying he knows he wants to. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying he's an insecure <laughs> man, and so that's how he's presenting it. Even if that's the not performance he's giving, the camera wants to fuck his daughter, yeah. and so that makes it very difficult for other subtext to emerge. I would say that I thought it was not as bad as some of the previous movies, as far as like oh. staring at people's butts and stuff. Oh. Um, I didn't well, think it was as bad. Well, okay. And I was like, maybe it's because she's 17, but th- there's other ways will, that they don't I care will, about I will them. say that the script very... Like, here's the thing. You can just make this girl 18 years old. But, yeah. the, but the script very specifically makes her 17 and then makes her boyfriend have a printout of the law that says that why it's okay for him to still be with him, which is just like some real creepo shit. It's so <laughs> creepy. If you if someone has that in their wallet, they yeah. should just be arrested <laughs> immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have a laminated, laminated copy, copy of <laughs> Romeo and Juliet, Juliet laws, laws, which are basically yeah. like yeah, here. very bad anyway. Oh. <laughs> let's 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 listen to the explanation right from the film. We're protected by the Romeo and Juliet laws. We've got a pre-existing juvenile foundational relationship. Statute 2705-3. What? Texas statute? Is that a real law? Yep. 
It is. I love how I okay. I edited that clip a little bit to cut out some of the other things, so it sounds like he says it in like this monotone voice the whole way. Yep. But you can kind of hear like. I, w- I was like, I don't know, Jack Rayner or whatever. It sounds like he was like, do I really have to say this right now? Like, you're going to make <laughs> me say this line? I'm going to say it in the most deadpan, Some, yeah, like, someone uninteresting Someone wrote way. it down and then <laughs> And said, forced this guy to say, say it. it. Yeah, Jack Rayner is super cool. Like, I've yeah. heard him on podcasts before. He's, like, woke as hell. Yeah. He loves classic movies. He's, like, a huge nerd. There is no way he wanted to say this crap. I know. That's why I'm like, when you listen back to just the audio, it sounds like he was, like, pissed Under off. Under duress. Yeah, like, like, I do not want to read this right now. It's and I, uh, yeah, I yeah. wanted to, I wanted the end credits too afterwards to be like, uh, like this character years later was burned alive. I, yeah. <laughs> same, but same no, guy. The movie bends over backwards to make sure that it's just like, this girl is 17 and she is being fucked. <laughs> like, I mean, it's so, it's just, gross. It's so gross. disgusting, yeah. but it's yeah, really like gross. all dads everywhere. If you're complaining about the shorts being too short and all of this stuff, it's because you noticed you looked at the shorts and that's why you're scared that they're too short because you thought about it already. If you I don't, don't even think that, about the I shorts, really, then I think, I think I there's, really some, think there's some protectiveness. The case, I yeah, get it. But, no. but, yeah, but also the root of it, I understand I what you're saying. Yeah. 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 I don't, but I don't think like behind only, that, every dad is only like, one of us here is a father. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I just think if you're policing your daughter's wardrobe, it's because I think he has you other have backwards issues. ideas about like I feel like there's issues because and- his wife died and he's just overprotective because of her and all this stuff too. Like I I don't know if that's overprotective the- of not wanting his daughter to have sex or be in a relationship ever in her whole life. Yeah, but he I literally think it was, says I think that. It was, I think it was overprotective about everything personally, but yeah, it wasn't just that. But okay. His name is Kate Yeager. He, he is an insecure wants to, man. He wants Mark Wahlberg to admit that he <laughs> wanted to <laughs> fuck his daughter <laughs> in this movie. I mean, the more miraculous part is that nobody was hurt in Hong Kong yeah. when Mark Wahlberg was there. <laughs> well, it's only because the central government protected everyone. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> <laughs> God, we're from, skipping. They all protected over. them from Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> all I gotta say is, uh, uh, shortly after we recorded the last episode, I booted up this movie and I pressed pause immediately so I could see, so I could see how long the movie was, and I yeah. was immediately like, "Oh my God!" <laughs> <laughs> Because we were talking about how long the last movie was, and this one is somehow 10 minutes long. Two hours and 45 minutes. Somehow with less robots than the other two movies, mm-hmm. other three movies. Was that Tucci like. yelling? That was Tucci. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's the Tucci. In Tucci. like a uh, freaking amazing scream. That's one of the all time great screams. Yes. Right? That was in the Honestly. trailer that I remember. It's in the trailer, yeah. yeah. And it's just like, wow, that, is, that guy gave a great performance of that scream he sure did <laughs> it's classic i love it um but uh that's the only good part of the movie no i'm kidding um you know let's just talk a little bit about where this movie starts because we're we've been jumping all over the place how long do we think does it actually say how many years it has been between now and chicago i think it's supposed to be four years later. it's not long enough because it seems like that the people have forgotten about the autobots <laughs> And most of the big buildings were rebuilt exactly yes, where they were before. That's true. I know. In fact, I, uh, you know, we, we get back to Chicago later and there's another big action sequence there where it seems I know, like, I was like, haven't of, they been through enough? I know. God. I felt really bad. I was like, they just blew up the same building that they were on. <laughs> yeah. There were so many shots where like, oh God, they just shot that building. That, uh, <laughs> they must have just finished <laughs> fixing it. Those poor workers. It's like ants rebuild your colony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're back, baby. <laughs> Um, Not the Woody yeah. Allen movie. Sorry. But yeah. So uh, <laughs> it, it, it's like very quickly after everything happened there, they dissolved all the whatever was going on. Now there's this new like black ops military thing called Cemetery Week, which the screenwriter also thought probably sounded very cool. Terrible. And name. is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. I know. I was like, I don't know. You, this it makes movie... me think of a fart for some yeah. reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so that's all I got to say. Cemetery Week. This weeks. movie is so for dads. Frazier's in this movie. Bosch is in this movie. Bosch. <laughs> so far before Bosch. Please, let's refer to him by his real name, the man in black. I know that, that was okay. yeah. The man in black. Years before Bosch. He is Bosch. <laughs> you, you just passed up that lost reference. He literally wore all black and a giant coat in it's multiple true. scenes. And I was like, well, yeah, of course. He's the man in black. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Obviously. Um, uh, that's Titus Welliver, in case you guys don't know who we're talking about. Um, Bosch. But, <laughs> Bosch, yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, so, like, basically all the 
all the Transformers are in hiding, supposedly. Yeah. And they're supposedly getting hunted down one by one. Uh, allegedly, the Decepticons are only getting hunted down. And the Autobots yeah. are supposed to... Have you know, have amnesty. some amnesty. Yeah, you know, Frazier's got a cool deck of cards that has their <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that has their faces all xed off and stuff. Like you remember that. how we were ceremonially ceremonially killing people uh, yeah. with drones and shit? That was that super cool thing that we did yeah. around that time. We just made a fun joke, graphic joke about it with the Autobots and Transformers. Yes, it's a very cool thing that we did. Yep. As a country. Sure did. But uh, we see pretty early on that actually they're hunting down Autobots as well as we see poor medical officer Ratchet. If you look, just getting lit. Up. If you want a sympathetic Autobot to get torn to shreds, Ratchet's the choice. He's the medic, but still has guns. Still has guns. I did think it was good that it was him. I mean, I guess yeah. last movie we lost. Um, uh, someone iron hide iron, iron hide yeah so, there so this one left. yeah they're, we're losing rather than killing someone we've just met it's like okay that guy's been in all of them for mm-hmm. sure like i i recognize him and so it, it, it was kind of like oh that sucks we also get to see like an archive file of like the target robot getting killed. yeah the yeah. target guy who, who has another name other than target yeah they gave like him a different names. name yeah. I, I can't remember but yeah yeah the target guy got killed too but um yeah and there's some guy called lockdown Lockdown is Lockdown. the new, uh, not the big bad, but, uh, well, he kind of he is, is the, the big bad. Yeah, he is the big yeah. bad. There's like multiple bads. Yes. But he's the main big bad. He's God's bounty hunter. Yeah. And I think he is a made up character for this movie. I believe far, so. As far Gotta as I can be, tell. Yeah. Well, because we already went through all of this stuff about like the, the origin story of the Transformers and them coming to Earth and all this stuff. But now they're like, no, no, well, forget that. There's like another origin story on top and of I that. And I feel like I may be wrong. I think that all of this, I have not seen the last night. So I feel like that all of this is fiction for the movies. I feel like it has no grounding in the, in the comic books or mm-hmm. in the cartoon at all. Well, it, this movie is connected to the next one because I remember I've seen the next one, but I hadn't seen this. But I was like, "Oh, okay." It kind of like picks up. There's all sorts of stuff in threads. this movie, like anything, like Tyler. Anything that when you were watching this movie, you're like, right. "Huh?" It, is all like you know, laying seeds for the next. For, yeah, for yeah. the knights, and I like was all like, this stuff right. about the knights and like okay. you know, which like, I guess is like I guess good that they at least tried to do that now because yeah. they haven't. But yet until now, so. like the very opening, like when is we, it though? <laughs> <laughs> they tried. You know, uh, sorry. The very opening when you see those uh, ships and everything, they do show like a super organic, like alien hand, right. but you never see the aliens. So you're kind of like, what the heck yeah. is that about? Yeah, and there are some like organic. When they get to this prison later, there's yeah. some organic, like Stranger Things looking monsters, which yeah. is weird. But there's other monsters. So um, so yeah, basically, and and then. Lockdown later says like you weren't born, you were built, which yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure they specifically <laughs> talked about him being born, born and being like a grandchild of one of the yes, primes, the primes. Before. Yeah, yeah. So he kind of certainly was that. born and now I'm confused. Well, and it is one of those things too that's really interesting in that it would make a lot of sense for the plot of this movie where uh Kelsey Grammer, I'm sorry, Frazier, uh <laughs> is is mad at the Autobots and like he's like, All aliens are bad. Mm. Where it's like if you talk about how Sentinel Prime turning, we like, yeah, we can't trust them. Like they can turn at any time, but they go out of their way to not talk about that mm. because I think they're trying to move on to a different mythology. But it actually would have, if there, as it's a direct sequel, it would make a lot of sense if he could have just said, yeah, Sentinel turned. Why couldn't Optimus? I don't trust any of them. Yeah, we do actually see, Sentinel which would make Prime's a lot head. more sense than anything else. Yes, <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really, you know, yeah, and I I can't, we'll get to the next movie when we get to it next week, but I'm like, I can't remember all the... Or we won't. Maybe we should just start on the franchise. <laughs> We're too far in yeah. now. I can't remember all the mythology, but I'm like, yeah, the stuff about the knights and like, were the other people in those cages supposed to be also other knights? I don't well, really everyone who gets out of the cages are the Dinobots, you know? Yeah, but there was that, that one that Hound kills. Cause yeah, because it, it shizzles on his, his face, face, which was stupid as fuck. Oh, the hound! Can we? Yeah, we can talk. John ab- Goodman, why? John Goodman won't this? shut the fuck, fuck up in this movie. He, oh all he did is like spitting. I feel like they were like, we got John Goodman for an hour. Let, like, yeah, let, just, let's have him say every <laughs> single line, and he's just like. At one point, constantly talking. I'm just like, okay, I get it. Like, at you, one you point, make a joke. He's Ooh, out fun. there, and we haven't we haven't gotten to this about Mark Wahlberg announcing his profession uh, constantly mm-hmm. throughout this movie. But at one point, uh, uh, Hound is like, "I'm a wicked warrior robot," and it's like, why would you say that? <laughs> I don't know. 
It's a nightmare. And I think he calls himself fat. Many too. times. I don't remember like, where. Like, I, yeah. No, there's like, like four or five fat jokes. He's like, whatever. my fat ass got oh, stuck. Oh, I'm a fat ballerina. Yeah, yeah he like, says that too. What the hell? <laughs> There's, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of fat transformer jokes. Oh my god! Okay, wait, just... yeah, let's go back to Mark Wahlberg for a second though, because sure. he's poor and they're trying to foreclose on his property. Yeah, and a and what, what's his uh, what's his character's name? Cade Yeager. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> and wait, what does he do? Uh, he will tell you many times if you ask him. I'm an inventor. This could be a game changer for me if I can apply that technology to my inventions. We never have to worry about money again. I've heard that before. <laughs> I'm an inventor. You're an inventor. Oh, man. He talks about being an inventor constantly throughout this movie. It's kind of like in the happening. He's like, I'm a scientist. It's like, are you Marky Mark? My my are favorite. You? Uh, I had a. You had sent me that clip of the inventor thing, <laughs> and so I pulled the clip. And then my favorite thing that happens, like I don't know, like 20 minutes later, <laughs> when the guys show up and search their house. Yeah. There. This happens. The hell is that? Just some dumb inventor. Yeah, honestly, because all the inventions are horrible. Just some dumb inventor, <laughs> like an ADR line from like a, <laughs> some soldier guy. He can't even make like a robot paint with a roller on a wall, like which, like I know it was 2014, was but funny. still, I bet you like some ro- robotic students at a high school could get that Absolutely. to work. Why like, are you shaking? I know, yeah. It was bad. There's a great thing where his robots have googly eyes, and then we get onto this, like, crazy alien spaceship. There are, like, ripper destructor robots that also have googly eyes (laughs) for some reason. That was was kind of funny. (laughs) See, he was onto something. Yeah. 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 But, um, inventor. I do just want to mention that um, a real estate agent comes and is Mm -hmm. trying to, like, get buyers for the house because he hasn't he's for, been foreclosed on or whatever. Yeah. And he calls her a purple people eater and mm-hmm. says that she looks hungry because she's a heavier set black mm-hmm. woman. And then he, um, continues to say like racist and cause it's a, the couple is also mm-hmm. on the heavier side. Yeah. And so, and then he threatens to literally murder them, mm-hmm. uh, and makes a bunch of racist and fat phobic things. Mm-hmm. And then they leave. Yeah. yeah I and was then, like, and then chasing a black woman off his lawn like, yeah. with a bat. This, this yes. Not, and then she said, I'm going to send my brother up here. And he's like his fat ass. Oh yeah. He calls her yeah. brother fat too. Yeah. Who is not even there. Yeah. <laughs> off screen. <laughs> off screen fat like, we don't need, we don't need that. We don't um, need. and so if it already, if Mark Wahlberg's casting is not offensive enough for you now, that, then we get introduced to TJ Miller. Who, sure, it's 2014. This guy's like hotter than hot at this moment. Yeah. And they're putting him in everything, but boy, it has not aged. Well. I think it's. I think it's. It's his ascension. I feel like this is before. This he's was right in. before. This Deadpool. is right before Silicon Valley. I think it's right before Deadpool. Oh wow! Okay. I think this is like pretty early on. Although the movie does have the common sense to make him a traitor and kill him early. Right. No, I was like, that's the smartest thing yeah. the whole thing. The yes. whole movie does. But also, um, he convinced them to license his own music for his uh, drive up scene. Uh, uh, really? Uh, yes, it was a song called Nasty Gal or something yeah. by TJ Miller. I hate that. Uh, I just thought he was making something up. I didn't even see that in the credits. Yeah, it was in the credits. Uh, uh, Silicon Valley started April 6, 2014, so it would have been right at the exact same time. Oh, wow. Time. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, they cast him and he wasn't even famous yet so there's no excuse yep. yeah. um oh he had cloverfield, cloverfield yeah was the big thing oh him. right oh that was a good this thing. is the same year he was in big big hero but six he's so annoying in right. this movie but luckily he gets killed uh and uh <laughs> i love when he dies they have to like you know they're kind of being chased so it makes sense that they have to immediately leave but he dies in this like horrific way and there's just a shot of like two seconds of mark Wahlberg going like Huh. And then they drive off. <laughs> His death was like probably the coolest death of we've of a human ever we've seen, seen yeah. of a human. Yeah. Because they don't dwell on it when the yeah. humans die, except for those people that got um like pulverized in Chicago or whatever, and just their clothes were there, like a rapture thing. Yeah. But no, he he like I don't even think it's realistic. I think he would just turn to ashes. So for a second, I was like, "Is he a robot?" Well, I think <laughs> I think he turned into Transformium. Uh, yeah, I think they used oh. like seed. They used not a seed, but he has those gr- like they blow it up later too. Yeah, one, okay. One of Lockdown's grenades, and I think it's like a smaller version of the seed. Okay, so he turned into metal and yeah. burned up. Yeah. Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah, it looked amazing. It, it looked, looked really, great. Cool. Yeah, it's it's a really very cool. cool. It was effed up to like have to see your. Yeah 
friend, uncle, whatever, like that. And they He's did like cut back to it like multiple times yeah. and sit on it, which yep. they didn't cut away. It was it was a really cool, it was cool. death. Yeah, and it, it was shocking to see him die. I mean, yeah, like, and I thankfully he the died theater. quickly. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's like that. Whatever they use to make that explosion, they do it twice in the movie, and yeah. it's just like looks so cool. Like that is probably the coolest looking thing in the entire. Film. Look, if you're gonna have T.J. Miller in your, in your movie, this is the way to do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> use him make for a, a cool death. Make scene. him a duplicitous piece of trash and then kill him early. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but yeah, um, before TJ Miller's death, the, the feds come to Mark Wahlberg's farm. Uh, the, the, both the bounty hunter people and the CIA. Cemetery wind. Um, and they basically Bosh. threatened to shoot his daughter in the head in yeah. front of him. Like they go, I was like, wow, they're really going hard. They're this not time. called cemetery wind for nothing. Right. Um, which was crazy. Cause I've just spent like many hours watching all these Waco shows on Showtime. Oh my God, yeah. So I was kind of like, Oh God, this is in Texas. Like, yeah. and you know, like it, they're, the feds are coming on and breaking into people's property without a warrant and shooting women and children. And I can't. And Oh, yeah. I mean, but, but Elias, he did have a warrant. My face. It's my war. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, that was an amazing line. I, I wrote like, that line I, down too. There's so many. Uh, I mean, the, the movie's not good, but there's so many like hilariously stupid lines. There is. There are some of the dumbest lines I have ever heard in my life in this. That movie. just make me laugh because they're so bad. But yeah, and then her boyfriend movie. appears. I thought maybe he was a transformer too. Yeah, the car, I did too. Was, can't there's not a driver. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, is that a transformer we haven't met yet? Is but it no. RC? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just some car. But then it's so crazy because he does an insane jump and hits two agents right yes. in the faces yes. with two, the both front tires. And I was like, what? That's like, like it was crazy. crazy. Yeah. Slow mo down. <laughs> and two agents just like, Whoa, getting run, their faces get run over like, totally with tires ripped. while they're running. It was like, I, I don't know how he timed it, but great job. Yeah, I'd like to he's know. He's a for, driver. Yeah, he's yeah. a driver where he does cross country races, where she's the navigator, but yet has kept this completely secret from Mark cross Wahlberg. Country? I thought it was stock car racing. It was rally racing. Anyway. Rally. Well, I mean, if you need a navigator, it's like you're gone yeah. for at least a day. Yeah, but Tyler, she's got the best hands in the biz. <laughs> yeah, she grabbed a stick. And grabbed, yeah. Yeah. She's got the best hands in the, the biz. biz. <laughs> like, why would you say that in front of her it's dad? Like, yeah. Seems like that. Are she you stupid? Can't, she can't leave for an hour without him being like oh my god his what whole life are savings wearing? are in that car yeah, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> jack jack rayner is annoying in this movie but i actually everyone is annoying yeah, in true. this movie i actually was like is that i mean i thought it was him but i had to look it up because he yeah. looks so young yeah Mid- midsomar yeah and i was like oh it is him optimus prime is annoying in this movie mark Wahlberg is annoying in this movie his daughter's annoying in this yeah, movie optimus prime's kind of a little bitch he's a little whiny the bitch first thing he says is i'll kill you yeah. <laughs> like a bunch of random people he doesn't know. <laughs> where and he's like, like really he keeps yelling at mark Wahlberg like your people did this and that and mark Wahlberg's like i'm just a guy yeah, he's from like, texas <laughs> like what the fuck are you like, talking I'm about out of my depth here like <laughs> what are you doing and yeah. we talked about it we talked about this in every other episode it's like why does optimus care about the humans and then we right. talk about like that's some of the most powerful stuff in the previous movies for him to just be like, it's all cynical. Fuck it. Yeah, and when Optimus would like yell at Shia about what humans were doing. Like at least he knew that Shia did have a direct line to like right. the seat of power or, or what's his face? Uh, Tyrese and Dumel were there. Yeah. And so it made more sense, but just you look at this random guy. It's just like, what is he supposed to do? Like, he nursed you back to health. Basically. Actually, the thing that I didn't understand, Optimus is like, I need to get to the other Autobots. They can fix me. But like on the way to getting there, he just scans another truck and he's like, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it takes. Yeah. And we're still waiting for that. Uh, we're still waiting for that transforming death. Yeah. But I thought they, that that was going to happen in this one because but, it has the nanobots. Yeah, it has nanobots. Yeah. yeah. But uh, they've been, they've been flirting with it. They, he changes shape while they're in the car. They get, this one has like, I feel like, the last movie, they had that sequence where, like, Shia got launched out of the car yes. mm-hmm. and then caught. And some, I bet all the fans were like, that was the fucking coolest thing I've ever seen. So now sure. they do it, like, six times. They did it. So, it was real. The first time they did it, I was like, that's actually really cool, like, how they did it the very first time. But then the two other times, I was like, I don't forget. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't care like, anymore. There was a couple times where I'm like, okay. Uh, I, well, even the first time, I think one of the guys gets, like, hit by one of their legs. And I'm like, ah. Ah, that would hurt. Yeah. Like, and then you I feel you. like I cannot confirm this, but I feel like that that the previous movie uh, Avatar kicks off the 3D craze, mm-hmm. and I feel like that this is perhaps the last movie I saw in 3D in theaters until Avatar Two. 
Oh, Avatar. It might be. <laughs> Speaking of avatars, <laughs> this girl, <laughs> Nicola Peltz, now Beckham. Oh is my best god! Known right for starring in the she Last Airbender Katara. movie. She was Katara. <laughs> um. Oh god. Yep. I don't know. And her father is billionaire activist investor Nelson Peltz, who just tried to take down Disney like a couple oh, months ago. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fail. And she is bad in this movie. Uh, yeah, it's not, not great, but also do. like the character is horrible. No, there's there's nothing for her to do. Also, I was she cracking up because she's an object in every scene. She's like, he's all about like, I want to make money so you can go to college and blah blah blah. But like, I was like, it must be a really bad college. And in my head, Canon, she's real dumb because she got rejected for financial aid and scholarships. And then when they're talking about the reward money for turning in Transformers, she's like, twenty five thousand dollars that could pay for my entire college education and i'm like where i I I will i will say that the movie did a like so she got the rejected thing and i was like are they just calling her dumb and then it was like for financial aid and it's like okay fair yeah but also he's like you're gonna get one of those scholarships and she's like clearly didn't get the scholarship i was like yeah i was like maybe you don't want financial aid (laughs) (laughs) i'm regretting that now so there you go (laughs) that's true but yeah you don't like the financial aid question is after the scholarship thing are all resolved yes. like so yeah, it's yeah. clear she's already been rejected for scholarships yeah, just, yeah it's yeah. just weird like she's trying- i don't think that makes it means that she's dumb necessarily <laughs> i just yeah her character is weird because it's like she's clearly trying to have independence but then every time something bad happens she's like daddy daddy yeah. help me so yeah and then they make a big deal that she like makes the right choice to like go back for him at the end but it's like whatever yeah i don't care yeah, even Bumblebee tries to stop her. Yeah, he's like, dude, no. She <laughs> makes the right choice in that she has pink lipstick on, perfectly <laughs> applied throughout the entire movie. Mm. Neon. I didn't, pink. I didn't even notice that. Mm. She has the most makeup on for like any person in any of these movies. Mm. <sighs> um, I would like if somebody can please make a gif of Stanley Tucci. Hitting a screen and yelling algorithms. Yeah. <laughs> algorithms. <laughs> Why? That, um, so that yeah, he's funny. like a Steve Jobs type guy. I, I, There's or, literally, or is he a John Malkovich type guy? <laughs> and he's like, he's literally playing the same type of dude. Yeah, but, but yeah, aren't he's there still like Tucci? Bl- There's like black and white photos of him holding. Yeah, an apple. I was yeah. like, I was like, who got to keep those? I really hope he kept those photos and put them up in his own <laughs> yeah. like man cave or whatever because that the, they were hilarious. Oh, you can't. You know, oh, you know what? You know, he's not either of those things. He's actually this. We make poetry. We're poets. Well, Which is like the reverse of the like. I make inventions. You, I, I'm a liaison. I That's actually not true because the, the way that Kate Yeager reaches out to me is like, I know you're an inventor too, like me, because I'm an inventor. Right, right. And this is a rebellion. And I rebel. <laughs> yep. I know. I was like, there's so many more lines. This is like another movie where people are like, we're poets. We write poetry. Yeah. Ugh, God. Um. But uh, yeah, he kind of gets like looped in, and it turns out that uh, he is. You know, building something called Galvatron. Man-made Transformers. Yeah, which, you know, the the scene, like, you know, I guess it makes logical sense that if they, if if humans could get a hold of this stuff, uh, they would probably do this, (laughs) you know? They're going to design their own. The scene where he's, like, turning it into a beat spill (laughs) and then then a gun, like, it's it's stupid, but it's like, yeah, you know what? They probably would be doing this. It It turns into My Little Pony at one point. It does. They have, like, all sorts of nanobots. Hasbro synergy. And, like, yes, nanobots are annoying, and this has been, you know, uh, talked about endlessly across many different movies and franchises, but, like, they did look cool once they were out on the battlefield Mm, transforming into the bad guys. I did not think they looked cool. You didn't think they looked cool? I disagree, yeah. I, I was like, it, it really felt like stupid. it looked like to me. I'm like, I love the animation of them transforming, like the regular Transformers transforming. It looks cool. It's intricate. This one, it looked kind of like the same animation every time. It was like, ooh, a wisp of nanobots, and then there's the robot. I still think it. I, I mean, honestly, the first movie still had the best transformations. It, like, no, it really did. They've only gotten worse and worse. And then this movie, I think the battle and the um, transforming of the Transformers were still okay. But 
a lot of just regular green screen stuff look like crap. Look really bad. Driving this, in uh, cars, this being is around. Some of the worst effects that oh, we've what seen. What the hell? That's like, like the easy stuff. Like yeah. that scene where like he, uh, they're explaining the alien weapons to those guys, and they're in the back of the ship. It looks. Ter- it does not it look looks like they're really there. Really bad. Yeah, I when mean, I wouldn't be surprised if none of the principal cast went to like yeah. maybe Tucci, but like Mark Wahlberg. Them, I don't think they ever went to Hong Kong. Like, because it's well, real bad. I don't, I don't think, think Bosch and Mark Wahlberg were in the same like room while they're doing that like it's one of the worst foot chases ever it was bad like yeah there's just like regular scenes of people standing around that you're like that's clearly a green screen like yeah. it, and, it, and it looks really bad and this movie's an hour too long anyway like yeah. why are you doing that yeah yeah i'm not sure how much they shot there either because i think they turned it said on the wikipedia that they uh, i didn't get to watch any of the special features this time around but it said on the wikipedia that they uh transformed um McCormick Place in Chicago to look like it's a city in Hong Kong. So oh, no. I, don't even, I don't even know how much they filmed okay. there. Okay, yeah, um, but but they the film the, was, they the, got the tax credit. The film was co the film was uh, co produced by China Movie Channel and sure. Gia Flix Enterprises. Itself. Right, that's why Bing Bing Lee's there. You yeah. either get Bing Bing Lee or Bing Bing Fan anytime yeah. you have Chinese funding, <laughs> yeah. and, there, and, and you put them in the movie, and they're like, "I'm here, and I'm yeah, an executive yeah, yeah. or a scientist." <laughs> yeah, and now this movie will be popular in China. Right. And there's like there's, there's this one moment where like she gets paired up with uh, Stanley Tucci, and they have a like weird like. Romance. For I don't think. I, I think it was just him being probably creepy to her. I don't think weird. she was into it. Yeah, still weird. But like, why even have that at all? But um, I think it's the sexual tension between Picard and Riker. Really, I did <laughs> like her character. Number one, though, I thought she did a good job. Yes. Like, it could have been way worse. We've I just seen thought it was, way worse. I just thought it was funny that there's this clearly like post recorded ADR line of Stanley Tucci going like, Oh my God, you're so amazing. Like you're so good at this. Uh, you know, yeah. like, which is like, they must've added that in to make her. Which China was like, awesome. nah. <laughs> but she did have some like moments where she kind of like yeah. broke out of the mold a little bit. Like yes. there's some time where they're like, we have a bomb in the car, blah, blah, blah. And she just goes like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is just, and it is, Sophia miles is there as well. Yeah. Uh, which, from Doctor Who fame, I enjoy. It is her. just funny oh, that okay. it, it seems like she her yeah her character just comes out of nowhere towards the end of the movie and is like oh now this is a Chinese movie you know, right going to China <laughs> and everything is all about how that, great China yeah is. in the <laughs> same way that Chicago was but but this with more it's like we traded the but it wasn't like there was suddenly like the mayor of Chicago is a main character right. in this movie <laughs> well I was gonna say the same way that we've traded the Pentagon's money yeah. in some ways because yes. they've made the military the bad guys in this movie mm-hmm. which let's State is not any more interesting or compelling, and it is much military porn, but you can tell that they got a lot less government funding yeah. for this movie, yes. and that objectively, overall, is a good thing. But they made yes. up for it by placing American flags in every scene. Everywhere. <laughs> he can't afford his rent, but he can buy 10,000 American flags. There's so many scenes where like, this is an important moment, and there's an American <laughs> flag in the background. Like, come on. I did like, um, there's an early scene, and I didn't, it's stupid, just makes the movie longer, but I did just think it was funny that like, it's a now, can't, they stopped using the real presidents, thank God. And sure. they're just like, it's this new president, and we're not even going to show him, and Tom Lennon's Tom here to just like, be the yeah. chief of staff and he's just like they're like oh the, the transformers are cool can we just like get along with them and like hang out can we meet optimus we prime like a photo and op? kelsey Grammer's <laughs> like no they're evil aliens they must all be killed you know and then like charles parnell is there being like an angry officer military yeah. guy that he like he is in basically every e- single every tv single, show yep. that's on <laughs> air right now <laughs> but yeah so uh there's that um then there's just like so many boring action sequences in this movie. Yeah, they make it, they all make their way back to Chicago to tear up Chicago uh, again. Which was that's you know, where that's that, where Tucci's company is. Yes. Yeah, it's like you know now that we know uh, from you know we talked about this a little bit in the last movie that like they really listened to like the fan response and the reviews and everything. So we know that like the last movie got better reviews. And I think people liked the big Chicago sequence. So here we go back to Chicago. To well, I was wondering if there was some kind of strategy that they just wanted to use the same plates over again. But yeah, I was probably like, that yeah. also could be. Yeah. Okay, because they are like I said, they do blow up some of the same buildings. Yeah, but it's still kind of looked, same area. Oh, it looks so pasted on. Um, the, the worst plates in this movie is when Optimus comes back in Texas, and they're like in Arizona and Monument Valley, <laughs> and you see like Autobots just like. 
fucking up rock yeah, formations. Yeah, I was like, bro, these are like, uh, this is a national <laughs> like, like, park. Why are, like, what like, the fuck? Get your soap <laughs> stop grinding on all the fucking rocks. But yeah, like, they get were, out of here, Ken. Just watching. like, like they, they sent someone with like helicopter footage, and they're just like, yeah, like let's just animate on top of that. Yeah. And then there's like this whole thing where they sneak into the company and bumblebee has a bunch of insecurity and like he pulls like a star lord where he lets his emotions like just screw everything up you know yeah. because they're like and this is, thing is designed to be better than bumblebee because bumblebee's so old i and did think it was funny that they had all those like talking heads being like i mean come on look at that guy the design is horrible yeah <laughs> like, well, it was like, funny but it's it was stupid that he lost his temper yeah, yeah. what was the name of that one that's based stinger, on I stinger stinger okay so yeah we they've established that there's like galvatron and stinger are these man-made transformers so, Galvatron is a thing. Is a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. From the yeah. com- from the original. from the show. And yes. what is that? He is basically like reincarnated. Man. He's, reincarnated he's Mansion. always okay. like yeah. Well, yeah. which is he is. It yeah. turns out he is here too. Yeah. But there's a big battle where he's let loose on Optimus and everybody uh, yeah. on the freeway or whatever. And at some point, like he talks like optimus is like you have no soul and what does he say he, he says like uh, that is, i have no fear yeah oh yeah. yeah exactly good because i have no fear and i was like wait how is he talking because it's like man-made yeah. and Which there are people they so show funny. people operating him and and yet he still has time to like well, quip with optimus and i was like i was like that totally broke all the logic blah blah and then later <laughs> Movie Stanley yes. Tucci is like I have no control over my own robots. Galvatron talked. How did that happen? And I was like, oh, okay, I thought that was really funny. Yeah. Yeah, like, he was like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. But also, if you're going to completely redo Megatron and make him look less cool, mm. yeah, he definitely has a. He, he's like more polished, you know, less cool. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, well, there's the, like this the, whole the, thing that because I want, they use, I want his little cape back. Less cool, oh, but. I, I, he is voiced by Frank, uh, what's his, uh, Welker? Frank Welker, yeah, who, who voiced Megatron in the original yeah, series yeah. and stuff. So that's cool. Yes. No more Hugo Weaving, sir. Yes. <laughs> what are they, made out of money? <laughs> well, they got John Goodman. No. They got John Goodman and Ken Watanabe. <laughs> I, oh my God, Ken Watanabe. Okay, like, is that a, Samurai a, Guy part I, of the I don't TV show? Think so. I think, pr- I, I imagine that there was somewhere. probably. An eight, the, the, yeah, I'm sure that they There's made There's a, a lot sam- of generations of Transformers. I'm sure that oh, they okay. made a Samurai Transformer. All right. Well, I mean, honestly, I support any money being given to Ken Watanabe sure. at all times, but this character was so stupid. I got to <laughs> say, I'm calling Optimus Prime Sensei yeah. and, like, and like being like, the honor, you he should was kill definitely, yourself, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, you see him, I remember when this came out, like, you see him in the trailers and he looks fucking sweet. And he was definitely one of my most disappointing characters. Yeah, because he doesn't get to do much. Yeah, yeah. He, I think he has one like small fighting moment, but he doesn't he do He kills anything. like a random thing in the wall in the Yeah, I was like, ship. oh, a samurai Transformers are going to be dope. And then it's like, and he's a he's a fucking helicopter that barely comes into play ever. I think he flies Bumblebee. I didn't even know he was a helicopter. I totally missed that. <laughs> yeah, he's, okay. a helicopter. he's a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you it probably was missed Ken that. Watanabe. You probably That's missed that thing. because there is a two headed pterodactyl in this movie. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. There sure is. <laughs> Um. So yeah, they they capture they accidentally basically capture Mark Wahlberg's daughter into their ship. Which Can't get is, out of that net. It's not the ship from the last movie. It's like a new ship. That's it's how lockdown lockdown ship. came here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like it's weird because some of the stuff looks very similar to the ships from the last. I think that you movie. are onto something, and that they reused plates and stuff mm. for this movie. Probably, I yeah. did think it was cool, although maybe not amazingly done. When Kelsey Grammer was walking in front of the bean, and the big reflection of the <laughs> yeah. ship was in there, that was pretty funny. <laughs> I did. Uh, we got to get the Kelsey Grammer bean shot. Yeah. <laughs> lockdown. Yeah. Lockdown is an interesting character. He does have. Uh, I was talking earlier about like, you know, hilariously stupid lines in this yeah. movie. And he has another one of my favorite lines. Like Kelsey Grammer has this like one on one meeting with him, which looks really funny uh, uh, earlier in the movie. <laughs> and he's like, Kelsey Grammer's like, uh, here we have a saying that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And then Lockdown uh, replies with this. I also have a saying. I don't. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Which I was like, Man. yeah, what? gotcha, bitch. That is gotcha. that is the voice Frazier. of this movie. <laughs> I don't care. I know. Oh man. Well, okay. So tell me if I'm wrong here, but basically they have the whole freeway thing. Optimus and the girl get scooped up into the ship, mm-hmm. and then 
they don't travel anywhere. They just still stay in Chicago. Yeah, because he's got to go now that he has Optimus. He's got to go deliver um, the seed to, to Kelsey Grammer. Oh, yeah, Kelsey Tucci. Grammer and Tucci. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. but then Mark Wahlberg Which, and boyfriend. Does he? <laughs> well, like, they have they to make have it a up. Contract they have to like make it up into the ship and yep. rescue her. And then there's a whole escape on these like wires. And then all the Autobots are also in the ship, like stealing weapons and stuff. Yeah, so they they specifically say that there's 10 minutes for the engines to warm up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why I got so, it. So yeah, okay. it's like the Autobots get on the ship. They, they are the ones who shoot off those anchors that go around Willis tower and like make it so that they can't leave. Okay. It's not like, it's not super clear in the movie, but it, it, no. when you're watching it, you're like, why would he shoot off anchors if he was trying to leave? But he wasn't doing also, it. Also like, I mean, Maybe I'm overestimating denim here, but like if you have these giant wires that are basically set up exactly like a zip line, but they're like, we've got to walk on them all the way down, like hundreds and hundreds of feet. You're saying that some sort of inventor maybe could have had something that would. <laughs> Why don't you yeah, zip line it? Yeah. Or like, or, uh, there's tons of this alien tech sure. behind them. He steals a gun or something. They couldn't have found one wire somewhere to I know. slide down the thing instead of walking. I kept thinking that whole time I was watching that, I was like, you know, I mean, not. <laughs> and it looked it looked bad too. Again, it was, yes. it was again, it really it bad. Fake. It was stupid. I was like, I was doing one of those like, what would I do in this situation? <laughs> and I was like, because this is really stupid. But then I was like, I don't know. If you're in that crazy of a situation, maybe you'd just be like, fuck, I have to get out of here no matter what. And this seems like the only I possible. Yes, but she was wearing a denim jacket. Yeah, I don't take know. it off, fly down at least part Use of the way. That venom denim. Venom, I don't know. Venom. Well, and also <laughs> like venom. back on how bad it looks, like they're clearly just, you know, in a studio walking around. I'm yeah. sure they have like a fan pointed at them, but it wasn't like enough. They needed no, more no. fans. They needed like do. I think they should have actually them. hung them out there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, it just, are you, it if bad. you don't kill Mark Wahlberg, are you really making a Transformers movie? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I'm like, okay, it's not the Windy City anymore. At least he wasn't yeah. like, happened. at least he wasn't like, where'd the bees go? Right. Yeah, where the, where, where'd the bees go? <laughs> I mean, that's. I would say if you're what ranking Mark, if you're ranking Mark Wahlberg performances, this is neck and neck with the happening. Uh the happening is so bad. It's really bad. I don't think it's that bad. It's pretty bad. He does use a sword that's also a gun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, is that cool? Okay, well, I don't know. so they they get back to the streets of Chicago in Bumblebee, and when, so we've got to talk about oh the Bud Light thing? the Bud Light thing. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I was gonna say you know I was thinking earlier I was like I wish we could have uh, it would be incredibly mean to him, but it would have been great to uh, force Chad to watch all the movies and take all the notes about the product placement and have him call in with the list. Every oh my movie. gosh, <laughs> because there's like that there's insane things like that. And uh, I think there was definitely less this time around, but the there's things an, were more blatant. There's an entire like Oreo robot that's just like there I'm is. an Oreo bot. There's a, there's a Victoria's Secret bus. <laughs> Victoria's that gets blown Secret, up. yeah. But so I wanna I wanna say something, uh, and I I feel like I am cursed with this knowledge, burdened with this knowledge. Uh-oh. But the Bud Light scene where they crash the ship into, which again we talked about how when Bumblebee crashed the ship last time. We saw people visibly die. People <laughs> yeah. probably died this time as well. Uh, but we enter into, uh, they crash into a Bud Light truck, and there's a bunch of Bud Lights on the ground, and there's this guy who's like, ah, I hope you have insurance. And this drops us into Michael Bay's favorite scene, because this scene happens in one of the previous Transformers movies. It happens in The Rock. It happens in a lot of his movies. I think it happens in Pain and Gain, where our hero gets into some sort of traffic altercation. I think it happens in the Bad Boys <laughs> movies, where it's with some random person. They're like, I hope you have insurance. And then like the hero is a giant dick to that person. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah, you know what? I'm trying to save the world. Your life is insignificant. Fuck you. <laughs> this is a off spaceship. The, yeah, You're off, not yeah, insurance yeah, off to spaceship. the plot. <laughs> He does this in so many movies. Like, I almost want to go through and do a retrospective, but, like, it happens, like, in The Rock, he says, oh, you just, this guy goes, oh, you just fucked up your Ferrari, and Nicolas Cage is like, it's not mine. It just, I I mean, and also it seemed like maybe they wanted the State Farm sponsorship again and lost it because of the way that they talk about insurance, like, and the way that they had mentioned State Farm in a previous one. But, yeah, the, the beer, the Bud Light beer is everywhere, and Apparently, at this it. moment, they were really, really, you know, wanting to push the aluminum can yep. because, or <laughs> yeah. aluminum bottle. Sorry, because that's the it's one. A ro- it's a robot movie, so aluminum. Futuristic. Right. Yeah, yeah. And they, they have all these close up shots of like Bud Light cans in the wreckage and burning or whatever. And after yelling at the guy, Mark Wahlberg picks one up <laughs> off the ground. 
opens it on the car, the guy's yep. car door, ch- takes, takes a, a chug, yeah. and then throws it on the ground. And, and, and does not just like a sip of it, does a full like brand coached, like tilt back, yeah. perfect degrees. Oh, you know yeah. that like the guys were on set that day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The client. Oh, uh, sprinkle more uh, Bud yeah, the, Light bottles over here. Yeah, the not Budweiser I can see some of the there. street here. I don't want to see the street. I want to see bottles <laughs> only. Yeah, <laughs> there it's was nuts. a food stylist on set that day. Yeah, I'm sure. It's like, yeah, I wish I had more um, time while I was watching these movies to just like jot down notes of like every single insane, unnecessary. I was gonna scene. say, I too, <laughs> as I watched these movies, wish I had more time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, speak. You speak a little bit about uh, you know civilians dying in that moment or whatever. One of the sure. things that I thought was really funny. Uh, that I didn't, you know, second, this is probably only like the second time I've seen this or something. I think I saw it in theaters and I was like, that was cool. And then I bought the Blu-ray and I don't think I ever watched it. Sure. Um, but, uh, we probably drunkenly bought the Blu-ray on a black Friday at some point. Yeah. It's another one where I have like the 3d one. Uh, and anyway. yeah. um, but, uh, I thought it was really funny that they make this whole big deal about like, you know, we've only used Galvatron, uh, in like test sites and like random places. Uh, we shouldn't take them out. And then, you know, Kelsey Grammer is like, this is now Black Ops mission, so you're indemnified. Like, do whatever you need to do. And they, so they send him out, and they're all like, they get in, you know, they got him. They're all set up. He's a, he's a like cool, smooth looking truck, and like they're like, all right, let's go transform. And like he transforms, and like literally the first thing he does is like fuck up a bunch of cars and, and <laughs> kills civilians. Like like cuts a car in half with a knife. Like for no like out of nowhere. Like he didn't need to do that. Right. It's just like immediately, and like, he's still essentially being controlled by by yeah. people. And the, and then they're, yeah, they're immediately like, uh, wait, is someone we're controlling this, right? Did you guys do that? Like what the fuck? <laughs> I also, <laughs> I also love, so I also love for that same op, Kelsey Grammer's like, he's like, this room is now dark. Everybody leave. And then, so like they clear out this whole like ops room and then it cuts to him like during that same scene, him sitting at, like, it's obviously like they, they, it's not how they plan to cut it. <laughs> it's him sitting at some random desk. <laughs> so it's like yeah. he, kid, he kicked everybody out and then just went to go sit down at his desk. <laughs> <laughs> and then like when the scene ends, he's back in that room. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I just love the idea. You're just like, everybody out. Get out of here. It's good to have power. Okay, I'm going to go back to my office. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah. then what? We finally go to China? Yeah. yeah. So that, yeah. They, Who cares? They go back to China. They fly over the Great Wall so they someone sure, can say, now sure all of China do. knows we are here, of course. <laughs> why Why was it they had to go to China? Is again? there a great roof I don't remember. Because um, <laughs> uh, Chuchi went there, maybe? I can't. I oh, because remember. that's where the factory that's is. That's where KSI's secondary yeah. factory oh, is. And they have even more man-made yeah. transformer yes. robots. So, uh, yeah, we go to China. There's crazy action sequence in China. Um, and uh, for this some This whole reason, movie is called The Age of Extinction, and they show you the Dinobots, and we don't get to the Dinobots until, like, the last 30 minutes of this movie, and they make no fucking sense. Again, an- I another... thought Justin had just told me the wrong movie, because last week you guys <laughs> See, were like, yeah, the Dinobots, Dinobot, so blah, and I'm like... We're getting to the end here, and I'm like, "What Dino bots? This like, they are uh, confused." Another well, he had major to use disappointment of the film for me. <laughs> yeah, he had to do uh, go to Arthurian legend to unlock the dinosaurs. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Like, I guess the dinosaurs. I guess they're on the ship because they found them in the Arctic and they gave them the lockdown. I don't know. It doesn't. I make don't. Sense. It doesn't make sense. But I do. Well, I they do speak remember, a different language. They turn into dinosaurs. Yeah, I do remember feeling like, you know, because, and, and I don't know, it just feels like they come out of nowhere. It's like, so the dinosaurs were in China? Like, what? I don't get it. But, I think they're on the ship. They're on yeah, the ship. I, I know, they, I know yeah. they're on the ship, but I'm just saying, like, the way the scene Well, because out. when Optimus you know, it does very make, you know, It does make sense. When Optimus rides the Tyrannosaurus Rex, uses his sword to slap its little butt. He's got to dominate it. Go yeah. yeah, he's got to dominate it. Well, yeah, and there's yeah. this whole scene where he's like, if you don't help me protect my family, I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To the T-Rex. So it's like, these dinosaurs don't even, they're not really even on their side or have yeah, any personality. Sure. They're like beasts of burden, essentially. He's like, yeah. He threatening like, to uh, be murdered. He's so, yeah, he's so aggressive. Protect he, he, them or die. Yeah, he becomes a completely different person in this. I mean, the Dinobots, I was reading more about the Dinobots because like, obviously, the Dinobots are from Beast obviously Wars. they were, well, they were from Generation 1. There is oh, Generation 1 okay. Dinobots, but obviously okay. they were created for toy Sure. Reasons. But, they're I like, the, the description of them is kind of more like the Bad Batch or something where it's right. like, they're their own group, 
Uh, they're separate. They're like really tight knit group, the Dinobots, and they kind of don't like Optimus, and they kind of don't like the Autobots. Yeah, and, but they work with them sometimes. Are you talking about the Star Wars Bad Batch, or is yeah, they're yeah, also a bad a, they're, oh okay? Yeah, <laughs> I was talking about the Bad Batch. Star oh, Wars. got it. Just as where they're yeah, kind of I was like thinking a, about just where they're like a rogue unit kind of right, like, right, right. I was thinking group. about the Bad Batch because there's a Transformer named Crosshair, yeah, and then there's someone <laughs> right. else who has like a Australian or New Zealand accent right. or whatever. I always make fun of how Omega the, says all their names. Oh, in yeah. Bad Batch. is that the, Crosshair? Like because cool they all have to have is a similar Autobot, Morrison uh, accent. Is that the Autobot that has robes? <laughs> uh, yes, I think so. The green one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. So it it is weird. In they're they're a little bit weird in this movie because I'm also like most of the time they're in their dinosaur form. But mm-hmm. you see them originally like they look like they're freaking giant robots that could yeah. probably do more damage in their robot form, but they're just dinosaurs for the most yep. part. Cuz I guess that probably looks cool. And then at the end of the movie that they seem to have no allegiance and no they just, like love for human life. Fuck off. Yeah, he's just like you're free. Like go terrorize yeah. the planet. <laughs> yeah. It's like we just come through this whole thing so that you guys could be or not be on Earth, and then they just let the dinobots the fire breathing t- tyrannosaurus <laughs> rex. Yeah. I'm sure it'll See be you fine. Later, Grimlock. Yeah. Yeah. They all have names too. Like, yeah. It, oh, they have you know, names. They have yes. real names. Oh, like the, the T Rex is Grimlock. Yep. They're like they're like pretty popular in the Transformers yes. all right. lore and everything. So it was cool that they were going to be here, but yeah, like the fact that they don't come in until the last thirty minutes of like a two hour and forty five minute movie, I feel like is sad. Which is why I'm excited also for the Rise of the Beast because it seems like they're more integrated and it's like. Well, I haven't, I haven't seen I any dinosaurs in that trailer, but I don't no, know. no, no. I just meant like the um, Beast were. People. It could have, yeah, exactly. It seems like in that from the trailers, it seems like they're more a part of the movie and not like oh the oh yeah the Dinobots show up in the last yeah yeah the, yeah the Beast Wars characters show up in the last two seconds, but yeah, I mean, I think that you know the the. The only cool thing in the whole Hong Kong part for me is like the few moments where lockdown's doing that gravity thing, which I think is kind of a cool concept. Where he, uh, yeah. The yeah. magnet. Yeah. Where he's like pulling up all these things and then just dropping them. Like it looks really cool when they're in that car yeah. backing out and we get that, you know, the, Oh my God scream. And they're just like dropping all these things on them, which Speaking is kind of, of 1500 dead in Chicago. <laughs> Many, many, many more people would die from this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was thinking, I think it was like, hey, like, do you have to get the seat out at this point? Because I feel like, like <laughs> most of the city is dead. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then there, there's the a whole lot of like, yeah. you know, <laughs> them just terrorizing people in random apartments and balconies and stuff. Oh, but a weird through line that I didn't expect is that football. Stanley. Well, yes, football. <laughs> and that Stanley Tucci drank the same like milk that um, Ken yeah. John drank oh, in the yeah. last movie, like the same brand the or exotic whatever. milk, yeah. yeah. Look. We like milk plot lines here. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. Sequel, we're, right? we're following all the milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had that thought, but uh, I didn't know it was the exact same one. That's funny. It, well, it looked like it to me. It God, probably, I, I think it was. It, yeah, like it was same, blue. Same packaging. And it, was mil- it was cardboard. Yeah. Um, and then, yes, we already talked about it, but there's a random, like, there's this disaster happening in Hong Kong, mm-hmm. and it just cuts away to people watching TV in Beijing mm-hmm. in, like, a town open area with a big jumbotron. <laughs> then we for no reason are introduced to the prime minister of mm-hmm. Ch- yeah and he like looks it like almost practically looks into the camera and says the central government <laughs> will protect hong kong at all costs yeah and i'm like this is propaganda and then that's <laughs> it like they don't <laughs> yeah. i don't do they actually like come in and protect anyone or anything well there's one dude with an acoustic guitar in a car i know that okay i don't know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if they sent i don't guy. know if they sent him yeah, it's but. just such a ra- there's no reason to go show us beijing oh, at sure all. there is right. it's all the money that they gave yes. the production yeah yeah they sure. gotta make them look like they saved the day somehow. i guess but they don't really do anything it's yeah it's really uh, again another insidious thing yeah, I at mean, the core it, of these yeah, movies. it makes it worse. Of who finances these movies and how they get made. And I mean, if you're just going to put the Bing Bings in your movie, it's pretty harmless. But you. then it gets really ridiculous yeah. the more, yeah. Yeah. I feel like this was like right around the time, too, where there was like just a ton of blockbusters where it's like, third act is in China. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. There like, was, oh, a, I mean, I think I mean, yeah, Iron Man. Yeah. Well, the uh, the one here, Bing Bing Lee, she's the one in the Meg also. Oh, so yes. Anyway, but Meg. Bing Bing Fan is yeah. the Marvel choice for a Chinese lady who comes in and is all about business or yeah. science. Yep. Because yep. she, she was an Iron Man 3. She was in an X-Men. She was, um, you know. 
Also, I was trying to remember the name of that like movie that she was in with uh, Jessica Chastain and Lupita Nyong'o, and I had to like Google it because I was like, I can't. It's Wait, like which movie was it? Th- I think it's the three five five. Oh, and right, one of the, right, like right. lady assassins. Saw, yeah, me that. neither. But I was like, what a bad title for a movie. Like, how am I supposed to remember that? Anyway, pretty bad, pretty bad. But that was the other Bing Bing. That was Bing Bing fan, not Bing Bing Lee. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they the final thing is like just in a random yard and um lock down Lockdown his comes, fighting optimus yeah. he stabs him with his own sword yeah optimus gets a sword okay, like you know i'm like this movie was sold Did on the image sword but didn't he have a sword before he had like a blade yeah, he had arms. a light up blade, blade arm arms, yeah and like but this yeah. time he has a sword yeah. i mean it really does seem like a little boy fever dream mad lib situation optimus yeah. prime with a giant sword riding on a fire breathing t-rex well, i know i was like and i was gonna say that like that's what the movie is sold Smack on that's little butt you yeah. see that image in the posters and trailers and stuff and then the, the fact that it doesn't happen still so late is like, right Ooh. right but he gets a sword, which is yeah. cool, and a yep. shield. So he is yeah. he's playing out the night fantasy before we sure. can even get to the and last. Mark Mark Wahlberg like means. follows That's him, fine. and then the daughter and the boyfriend come, and I thought they were gonna like at at lockdown oh, yeah. for a second, but really they were looping up the tow truck wiring to pull the sword out of Optimus so he can win. Which is a cool moment. Sure, yeah, yeah. But I yeah. I, I, I was this whole but, time like Mark Wahlberg would be hella dead. How yeah, is hella he alive? dead. <laughs> but also it's a repeat of when Megan Fox is driving the tow truck with Bumblebee, which is actually yeah. a cooler moment when she's towing Bumblebee through the city and That's he's true. fucking shit up. I did think it was funny. Um, yeah, like Optimus goes running off to chase down lockdown by himself Mark Wahlberg is like, he's all alone. Like, I've got to go help him. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, what are you yeah, going to do? What are you going to do? do? One do? gun. One like, we, gun. we don't need the humans there. I think he's, he's going to be okay. He's a robot. Giant robot. He's a robot. But look, no, he did need his help. So. See, I think we do get our, tra- our first Transformers uh, F word in this movie. And it's so that uh, Stanley Tucci can say something slightly racist. I don't even remember. I don't remember. Uh, it's when they're moving through the hallway and there's they're running through the the building and there's a bunch of uh, elderly women. Oh right! And he's like, "What's Chinese to get the fuck out of the way?" Right. right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's uh, not racist. This la- is just stupid. I, la- <laughs> I was mad that I laughed. Right. <laughs> I mean, Stanley Tucci is fun in this movie. Yes, he, he is. is. He's better. He is better than Totoro. Yeah. And oh he, my God. Yeah. I yes. was shocked there was no Totoro. Yeah. Yeah. No Totoro. And like he does a good job. Like, you know, I feel like he, he knows he's in a stupid robot movie and he's kind of, he gets to be the more like manic, screamy presence right. in this movie. And at least, like, at least someone yelled at an old woman. <laughs> Thankfully, <laughs> Thank she was God. of no relation to him. But, sure. you know, it's the Transformers movie. Someone must yell at an old yes. woman. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. It's also weird that, like, uh, Mark Wahlberg just basically, Cade Yeager just picks up the same cadence as Sam Witwicky of calling Bumblebee B and having yeah, the short. Is, it's just like, why weird. do you guys, like, you don't even have a relationship. Right, right. Yeah, it was sort of weird that they didn't at least mention, like, oh, Bumblebee, like, you know, like, where's Sam? Not they here. They or don't whatever. say anything They don't about say anything, it. yeah. Anything. It's very strange. Weird. Yeah. It is kind of odd, but... uh but yeah. thank God they didn't give us his parents. For oh my God! I know. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. so great have. to not have yes. them. But yeah, I don't know why they felt like they had to get rid of everybody. Like they right. could have brought back Francis McDormand. They could have brought well, back. Well, no, I don't. Not there is this. There is this really weird shot in the in the Hong Kong sequence where they like the. I think it's like an elevator or something opens, and you see like you see like the midriff of a girl. Yeah. yeah, and you see her hair, her black hair, and it's like. It pauses for a second, and it almost looks like she's like cosplaying as Megan Fox. Oh. But then you go up, and it's like an Asian girl. I just thought that was really odd. I was like, were they supposed to think like that was her for a second? I don't know. I don't it's think so. Scary. By the way, uh, because of these movies that we're covering right now, my phone just thinks that I'm like need to see all news about Megan Fox, and oh. she's on the uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition with Martha Stewart. With Martha oh, Stewart, yeah, and I saw, I that, saw yeah. Martha Stewart first, and I was like, well, I gotta look at this. You gotta <laughs> yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eighty two, eighty one. Yeah, yeah I sure. Did, I did too. I, I pulled it up on on Deadline, and I was like looking because my parents are here and I was like should I look at this image and I like scrolled down really quick and was like yeah delete that's fine <laughs> she looks great yeah. she looks yeah. amazing yeah, and she then looks I didn't Fox, want my parents to be like what are you looking yeah. at Megan Fox, yeah. right. Megan Fox also looks amazing but I just thought, did think it was funny how all of her swimsuits were like made out of objects yeah. like none of them were real swimsuits kind of it was like same. this one's made out of rocks this one's made out of shells this one's made out of pieces of cork this one's <laughs> yeah. Padma Lakshmi's in it as well and oh, hers really? are made out of like sequins and oh, like okay. I think it was the 
fiend that they did. I mean, whatever. Everybody looks great. Yeah. Do yeah, whatever you want to do. Yeah. You're very empowered. And also, and good for them to have a, a bunch of uh, of age women. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, Megan Fox is fine. She's not in this movie. Shia you know is else? not in there. You know who else isn't in this movie? Lincoln Park. Yes. Yeah. That was the most disappointing. I get Imagine Dragons. That's what I was saying. You know, we, right. we're going to lose them. I was going to say, I kind of like, okay, it's, it's, you kind of like Imagine Dragons. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I listened to the song. I listened to the song because you don't actually hear the song until the ima- credits. Just imagine. Just them. imagine. Oh. Um, <laughs> I don't really like the song, but I like the first, I like how it's incorporated the first time. Mm. But sure. But I feel like it's weird when it comes back in that like big end moment. Yes. Cause it's like too pensive and like, why are they playing this weird? Like, uh, you know, is that, is that, like, what is that Ariel right now? <laughs> yeah. What did you just sing? <laughs> yeah. He's like one more time before I go. That's how the song goes. Right. You know? But it's just like, why are they playing this weird? I, I don't like how it's used in the uh, there's nothing like that sequence. i mean that's why lincoln park is so great because there's yeah. really no one that's yeah. exactly like that they tried, like, but it's not i wonder it's how not right. imagine dragons felt about the move this movie ending with uh optimus prime flying off to fight okay, god let's please <laughs> so anyways they win they yeah. kill uh lockdown yep um also, the all of the Transformers like bleed and puke in this movie. Green, they goop. sure do. Also, um, Optimus coughs a couple times. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> he's like, <coughs> well, and they had blood. They had blood in the last one. They do not have blood in this one for whatever okay. reason. Um. So then, yeah, Optimus uh, delivers a messianic speech once again. And, <laughs> yeah, I was like, this might be the speech I have to use for the <laughs> right, right, right. So yeah, I don't know. I have the main quote written down, but what do you want to say about it? Oh, I just. Uh, I don't know. At the time I was like, really like, Oh great. That means they're going to make another one. And I also was like, kind of interested to know who, what the fuck was going on. Who is on. the last night? Who is the creators? Yeah. You so know? It, like, I, I guess know. it'll be interesting to find out. I don't remember if they actually address it or not, but anyways, he flies off and he, do you have the clip of it? Or? I don't have the oh, clip. Okay. He literally says, uh, I think he said, does he say this to Mark Wahlberg directly or is well, it just it? kind of, well, he no, says, whenever you look to the star, Oh yeah, yeah. He does. He does. It's say, my soul. He does say that. Whenever you look to the stars, think of one of them as my soul. Yeah. Oh, I guess he does. He does say that because uh, I saw his mouth moving because he's like talking to Mark Wahlberg and turning like he does. You know. Yeah. What's the name of the guy from uh, Dragonheart again? To the stars. Oh, oh right. Someone <laughs> to, to the, the stars. stars. So now I can't uh, remember the guy's name. <laughs> I can't remember it either. Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid. Yeah. To the stars, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> to the stars. So one star is uh, Optimus and then, Drago. Or yeah, whatever, yeah. But, yeah. Well, stars Drago. Draco, one stars Drago. One sure, stars. One stars Papa. I think there's yeah. both. Yeah. Draco and Drago. I don't know. Yeah, there was, but I forgot which is which. Which yeah. was the first one? That was, that was so many. God, years it's been ago. so long. <laughs> yeah, we got to we, revisit. The- we need another Dragon Heart, you guys. Yeah. Maybe we should do like uh, episodes where we revisit our own episodes. <laughs> like, I don't remember saying <laughs> that, that at all. <laughs> you mean every episode? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah where's the next Dragon Heart? What the heck is happening know. over there? I don't know. <laughs> it's not like there was a pandemic or something. Yeah. <laughs> and a writer strike. Now, yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, no. But yeah, he literally blasts off into space, and I don't to know to fight he, God. Yeah, he's he like, wants to go sure. kill God. He's like, I'm coming. Yeah, and he doesn't even say like, <laughs> I want to find out. He's literally no, he's like, like, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go kill. kill. I'm gonna go kill yeah. God. Like this is not cool. Well, yeah. and they've introduced the idea that like lockdown was working on a for bounty. God. Yeah, yeah, like trying to get Optimus for some reason or another. But yeah. oh well, I don't know. Well, I really hope that the last night is about. Um, Optimus fighting the lion from the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus versus Jesus. That'd be amazing. That'd be hilarious. Liam Neeson. Oh, my God. If they got Liam Neeson in these movies, uh, that would be a whole new thing. Although there are some some real big names in the next one, but we'll get to okay. it. We'll get to it. Yeah, because you know what? This one, um, another one that went over $1 billion. Oh, my God. What? Somehow, yeah. Why? Uh, it was the... Uh, it was uh, the tenth highest grossing film worldwide, and the highest grossing film of 2014 uh, in its. You know, every time world. I see the totals for these movies, I'm just like, we are so spoiled now. People are like, oh, I want to complain about Marvel fatigue. I don't like Ant Man. I'm mad at Star Wars. Blah blah blah. But I'm like, look, we could have this. 
Yeah. yeah. This is how it was. Like, are you kidding me? Like, it, said, it says it was the only film in 2014 to, to cross $1 billion at the box office. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. I would rather watch 10 more Ant-Mans <laughs> than watch than another Quantum one of these Mania being made. I mean, you well, could I mean, probably, we'll you could probably fit 10 Ant-Mans in the yes, runtime of this movie. Absolutely. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah, but Jesus, that, that, that is crazy that this was, you know, you watch this and you're like, wow, this movie's not great. Uh, but There's a 17% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, it's not good. It's I not guess good. like we as a people just are demanding more of our entertainment or something. But like, uh, that means that three years later in 2017, we get a, another, uh, we get the final Michael Bay, but still Michael Bay sequel, Transformers The Last Night, which we've okay. already been talking about a little bit. But uh, Yeah, well, even this one, apparently he was like, I'm not going to do it. Well, maybe I will do it. No, I'm not going to do it. Okay, yeah. fine, I'll do it. You know, that kind of a thing. I think they wanted him back, like, because the Dark of the Moon obviously did so well, but he said no right away. But Yeah. Oh, also, uh, did you see that? Yeah, apparently Skrillex, like, made some of the noises. I don't know. It's like Cool. <laughs> beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep. Just random shit. Yeah. But uh, Tyler, I don't know. I mean, do you guys have anything else you want to say about I this movie? I don't think so. No. We already kind of talked about it a little bit too much. So I feel like it can't yeah. be a rating system. So instead, it can't be a rating system. So instead of aluminum Bud Light bottles, I will oh, say I how many exploded Victoria's Secret buses. Mm. I did think the product placement was real crazy. There was like, it was. That, there was that. And then there was also like another huge explosion where it was like, Tom Ford. Tom, it was right. That was right after <laughs> yeah. the, like the Victoria's <laughs> Secret bus explodes, and then there's a Tom. And Ford I was just ad like, afterwards. "Come on, they're just putting those things in in, yeah. in the background." Uh, but anyway, I bet Tom Ford didn't even like Michael Bay. Was just like, "I want a Tom Ford suit for the premiere, <laughs> so I'm going to put this in the movie." Like, I can't remember. I gave Revenge of the Fallen a pretty low. You gave it a five, I think. No, 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 not Revenge. No, that oh. was dark. I think I've been giving uh, all of them. Th- threes did it go down to two you, gave, you went down to two last i time. went down to two fine i'm just gonna stay at well i feel hmm. like i'm gonna give this one like i i still think i like i can't remember i still think i dislike uh revenge of the fallen more uh than this one revenge of the fallen's really bad yeah so i think i'm gonna maybe i'm gonna give this a three exploding victoria secret buses and i can't hmm. remember if that's the same i gave the other one probably not i'm gonna give it two um buses because i just think it's really bad and fathers should not comment we on started daughter's the pod- dating lights life or shorts we started the podcast and eliz looked like she was upset immediately <laughs> well it's just like <laughs> it was so long it's honestly it's very it's like i would be less annoyed about how creepy he was if like there was an hour less of this movie it's like a trip to the dmv uh, i'm also <laughs> gonna go to exploding victoria's secret buses i'm like I only give it three because I feel like there's still some fun to be had in like some of the sequences. But for me, like the set pieces are just not as good. And like every, the scale still seems bigger to me in the last Mm -hmm. film than this one. Yes. And I just, I still like some of the moments with Optimus and stuff. And I didn't like Mark Wahlberg is annoying, but like, I don't know. It was fine. One thing that I'll say is that there's a lot of really nice Americana sunset twilight shots in this movie that are establishing that look with great. with shooting stars. Don't forget with shooting stars. Those were probably purchased from iStock Photo, and then they just <laughs> they pasted know, Mark Wahlberg they, over they it. They shot them. I did. I did like while the movie was playing. I was like, "This is the America that the losers want to have." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "This is this is what they think of." I think. Yeah. I, I don't know. They dream of this like ranch house Most, with. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> where you can star. chase people off with a bat. Um, yeah, it's just not. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, there's a pretty swift decline. I feel we tra- like we traded movie. off uh, American military propaganda for Chinese authoritarian propaganda. And, there's also uh, yeah. <laughs> there's also like way more focus on like the cars in this. Like there's yeah. a Bugatti and there's just like so many shots of just like, I don't know if cool that's cars. true. I don't know if that's even true. I think that that's like, that's true through all of them. I just think that this is like, has the longest runtime and has the least amount of actual like transformers action. And the first movie has vanishingly little. I well, think, just you. Wait. <laughs> I think also oh, like God. Michael Bay is just like, power mad at this point like yeah, yeah, yeah. he has no one in his life or in the studio that can tell him like hey man that's not funny he's he's, a, that's not he's about two movies away from director jail right but still <laughs> like i wish like i wish just somebody had the sure the wherewithal to just stand up to him and be like you know what man the fat jokes the racist joke 
the jokes, the yelling at the old woman. It's just it's not funny, dude. Yeah. It's not funny. And there yeah. are so many more creative things you could do. Like, But it's just clear that he's really, really into those things, as you've said, mm-hmm. throughout all of his movies. And he just has no one in his life well, that can tell him the And truth. the next movie, which is like this is already setting up a whole, like mythology and everything else it's a different writer and i think that's probably because people are like i don't want to do that shit like what yeah, should do something else he's like nah because i'm sure that uh, these writers write it and then he michael bay punches it up with all the, the offensive things that yeah. he loves he adds balls to things yeah so, yeah anyway. well, sight gag well i'm excited for the tables to be turned on tyler for the next one because now eliz hey. is in the seat of like i've seen this movie tyler is the one coming in i'm the last night yeah, I, yeah. it might have been that i only went because tyler canceled unexpectedly or something honestly because <laughs> i remember true. Yeah. i remember I had, just being like yeah whatever a, i'll go to this i like, had a ticket okay. i was supposed yeah, to go yeah yeah that's uh i can't wait you're gonna be like what <laughs> Who's in this movie? I think much, Why, much like Fast that? 8, which I also had to miss. I feel oh. like, uh, you know, by the end of this, we'll be uh, just uh, talking like this. The movies nowadays, that's the trouble. Sequels and remakes, bunch of crap. Right. <laughs> I did enjoy that sequence a lot. I mean, I, I guess. like the movie theater sequence. I didn't sequence. like the joke of, like, this guy has a limp wrist handshake or sure. whatever. That like, that's weird. horrible. That was weird. That is very bad. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> At least Mark Wahlberg stood up for the old guy. I don't yeah, know. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. It's whatever. Whatever. Uh, well, you know what, you I'm guys? A I'm a wicked warrior. If you didn't robot. notice that a giant big red crashed into your movie theater, you probably deserve to lose your business. I'm you know, sorry. Optimus That's Prime. That's the start of your stand-up career right there. <laughs> Optimus Prime was just there to see the ladies shake their boobs or whatever. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, there was, that was funny. He was like, I think it's an IMAX camera probably. <laughs> IMAX, a uh, you know projector. Yeah, digital IMAX. Anyways, thank you for being here for us, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you guys didn't watch the movie and you just listened to this, and you probably had a better time. And for I it. don't know if 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 what we said made you want to go watch it. I'm sorry, <laughs> that was not our intention. Yeah. By the way, if there are any lawyers listening, can you email us and let us know if there's actual like law about patenting alien technology? Like, are we already as a country prepared for that? There's some patent law about it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, probably. I don't know. Anyways, we will, I will get a I will get a guest take from a lawyer. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> we will be back next mm-hmm. week. Uh, but uh, before we leave, Elis, where can people reach out? Please email us uh, those thoughts and others to sequelrights at gmail dot com or find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Sequel Rights. And rate review us on Apple Podcast or follow us on Spotify. Helps other people find us and helps support the podcast. Uh, and perpetuates that Bosch is Bosch. Bosch is Bosch. <laughs> Since when are you anti lost reference? I'm not well, anti lost we reference. Chanting Juliet. We should be chanting <laughs> man, man in black. black. Man, man in, in black. I mean, if you wanted to be like super uh, hip, you would have been like, he's from Bosch Legacy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I was just saying, Daz love Bosch. Yeah. yeah, they do. They do. Like, I feel like Jack Reacher was like seconds away from appearing in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jack Ryan, all the the Jackiverse, all the Jacks. Jack Reacher is Bosch's Ryan. first name Jack? No, I don't think oh, so. Okay. I mean, Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> Jack <laughs> all, the, all the Jacks. Anthony Anderson's in Kangaroo Jack, right? No, uh, it's no. all coming together. Yeah, I think so. Oh my god, so. we got to wrap this up. <laughs> Let's okay, get out of here. Okay. We're, we're right. delirious. We'll see you guys next week for Transformers: The Last Night. Will we ever see you again? To the stars, Cade. To the stars. When you watch my films, remember me as I was. protector of humans and sometimes ruthless killer of fellow robots I may be about to fly off into space leaving your planet vulnerable and alone alone 
But don't worry about that now, Cade. All you need to know is to the stars. <laughs> <laughs>